Welcome to Northside Marine. I'm on board the Beauty, the Mary Fisher 1095. How many people can you sleep on board this boat? Today, I'm gonna to take an in-depth look through all the cabins and sleeping configurations on board. My name's Brooke and welcome back to the rudder. The Mary Fisher 1095 has three dedicated cabins, but there's also capacity to sleep many more guests on board. We're gonna start here in the cockpit and show you the versatility that you can have in this space. This space here, you can have a canopy and you can enclose it with beautiful mesh screens. It gives the living space more versatility and extra space when you're out on the water. The current configuration is a seating arrangement where you can probably fit seven adults. But take a look at this. This spot here drops down to be a day bed or space for an extra guest to sleep on board. So we just remove the table quite easily. And you've got this infill section. Now this is typically set up for having sundowners and relaxing in the sun, but my brother on our 895 has slept in this space overnight. So there's definite capacity to sleep an adult. Let's go inside to the cabin now and see what we can fit in there. You might be wondering why we're in the cabin, considering this video is all about where to sleep your guests on board. This setup has three different configurations. So the first one is as a dining area. This table also drops down. So that your guests can face forward whilst underway and the third option yep you guessed it this is a sleeping quarters so let me show you how quickly and easily this converts And there we have it, an extra lounging space or a berth for one adult or maybe even two friendly adults, but definitely two children. Plenty of space to lie down and have a sleep. And you've got these block out curtains that go the whole way around to block out the light in the morning. And here, they've also got the capacity to shut out light, but also we have the screens there as well. Let's head downstairs to the three cabins now and look at how many people we can sleep in there. We're downstairs and we're gonna move into the smallest of the three cabins on the starboard side. This cabin here has the capacity to sleep one guest. So I'm gonna show you, you have to slide in feet first and your head sleeps at this end. Definitely cozy, definitely room for only one, but you've got your natural light, You've got your air conditioning and you've also got a little hatch for natural air. Let's go into the port side cabin now and have a look. <laughs> this cabin, we'll move on to the port side now and have a look. We can sleep two additional guests in here. Lovely little seat, lots of natural light and natural airflow if you need it. Definitely space for two friendly adults, but certainly two children. I'm stretched right out and my arms are wide open and I'm not even reaching way across there. Great space for two additional guests. Let's move across to the showstopper in the bow cabin now. 
I'm going to use two words to describe the bow cabin, spacious and luxurious. Headroom is great. My husband's six foot two and can easily move all the way around the bed. You've got this infill here, which you place in the middle and it slides out to become a queen size bed. Plenty of natural light and also you've got a hatch here for airflow and this one's fitted with air conditioning. You've got your block out curtains to, and also you've got your best screening when your hatch is open and then also to block out the light. So to answer the question at the start, you could fit eight, but definitely seven people on board when you're having guests overnight. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much to Northside Marine for letting us on board this vessel. Now I've got one more thing to do. Fingers crossed I can convince Damien to upgrade from our 895 to this beautiful vessel. We'll see you next time on the rudder.